I'm Kylie from Freedom Vans and I'm here today to give you a tour of our latest van build. This is a Ford Transit 148, so the medium Ford Transit wheelbase length. And we have about 12 feet inside that we're working with. We built this van for a couple who loves to ski, mountain bike, and backpack. And they also wanted a space that they could work from while they're on the road. So come on, I'll give you a tour. We have the garage space where they'll be able to store all of their gear. They also have an outdoor shower and a hose kit which fit right in here to these quick connect release spots. Back here they have a park bike mount so that they're able to carry their bikes um, and do a little bike work while they're on the road. We have a secret door in the back that allows you to grab things from the back from the inside and lots of storage space back here. Over here on their headboard, we put these hooks so that they can hang all of their backpacks, um, swimsuits, towels. These really come in handy when you're on the road, so that'll be really useful for them. These are our under bed lights so that you can see what you're getting in the middle of the night. We also have exterior lights on the door here so that you can pack up your gear and unload your gear at night. These are our bike trays or storage trays. Um, they fully extend with 500 pound slides so you can store all of your gear here and have access to it easily. The Ford Transit has the stock lower speakers but we didn't want the sound to just enter the garage. We wanted them to be able to hear it while they're driving so we remounted these speakers into the upper panels. This couple loves cooking, so what was really important to them was their kitchen space and then a nice dining space for them to sit at. So we have a nice large industrial size sink with the semi-professional faucet, lots of counter space, and a cute little dinette. So this is where this couple is going to be able to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner while on the road. We have seating for two and then we also have a really nice desk space for when they need to work from the road. Another nice feature of the, about this dinette is that this board goes down and then this will also turn into an extra bench or bed. Under this bench seat we have their 30 gallon water tank and this holds their fresh water we put it over here because they wanted to have two ways of filling this tank. One way is on the side of the galley, they have a place to put a fresh water hose. Or, if they're somewhere where they can't really find potable water, they can unscrew this lid over here and fill the water via a jug or however you want to pour in your fresh water. Under this bench seat, we have their power system as well as their sub for their sound bar. And their power system, they have 300 amp hours of lithium batteries as well as 320 watts of solar on top of the roof and they have three ways of charging their power system they can either connect to shore power which is just uses an extension cord to connect to a regular power outlet their batteries charge while they're driving so they're connected to the alternator via battery separator and they also have solar in the kitchen we have overhead cabinets with under cabinet lighting a sound bar and then we have a decent sized kitchen galley here we have a butcher block countertop with a large stainless steel sink and a semi-professional faucet we also had a cutting board custom made for this space by carve woodworks this is housed here but it comes off and um, you can use it to cut your vegetables or it fits perfectly in this sink space too. Under here we have our intake fan which pulls cool air from underneath the van, filters it, and blows it into the van. And then we also have our heater vent. 
In this cabinet we have a five gallon gray water jug that the sink empties into. We also have lots of slide out drawer and cabinet storage in this galley. Over here we have an additional galley space which will be nice for them because they'll be traveling with a induction cooktop that they'll be able to set up here and open their door for ventilation. They also have an additional pull out countertop over here to give them some extra countertop space. And underneath they have an isotherm refrigerator. What's nice about having the refrigerator by the sliding door is that you can load groceries into the refrigerator while you're outside or if you're outside and want to grab a drink from the fridge, it's just really easy to grab. In this van, we added a second mount for the table, so they're able to put their table over here in between the driver and passenger seat as well. And then overhead, we have the overhead cabinet for extra storage. For their bed space, we decided that they would sleep side to side. That way they could have more living space in the front. And the way we were able to do this is that the Ford Transit has these really deep cavities. So side to side, they have six foot two of sleeping space. It does have a couple of layers of insulation behind these indents, although it's not as much as the rest of the van, which is very well insulated. In their sleeping space, they have these reading lights, which have their own individual light switches. They have a shelf right here that has two 12 volt outlets, so they're able to charge their cell phones at night while they're sleeping. We also have these insulated window covers that roll down. This creates a nice insulated barrier between their bed and the back doors. Over on the outside of the van, we have a little flip up table where you can put snacks, drinks, etc. We have their water fill and then we have an outlet so that they can plug things in while they're outside. On this van, we have the Van Compass two and a half inch lift kit, as well as a couple of suspension upgrades for a really smooth ride. We also have the Van Compass rocker guards, which in our case, we added them as running boards, but they can also be used for off-roading in the van. We have the Fiamma awning and a patio light so that when they set up camp, they can have a really nice, comfortable patio space that's well lit. That's it for our van tour today. Thank you so much for following along. We have more photos of Fred the van on our website, Project Gallery, freedomvans.co. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Have a good day, bye-bye. Oh my gosh. Okay, you said you Fred. <laughs> Wow! I don't even know what that is. It's like you don't want to touch your new your new toy. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. my gosh, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is incredible. Where do I start? <laughs> well, I start with running board. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, you guys are too much. Oh this is amazing. This is so beautiful. I love the wood. Beautiful. Oh, the color. Look at this thing. The sink is my favorite. I've been looking at the sink a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this. Everything looks so oh, this. finished. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's good feedback. Oh. <laughs> What's that? I said that's good feedback. Oh my Everything. gosh. So this cozy. is, I mean, oh, I this is spectacular. Yeah. And the colors of the pillow. Look at this. I have to sit here. It's ready for a good meal. I job. cannot, I, I just <laughs> cannot wrap my head around the work you guys do. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, we uh, we had like sky high expectations, and you still somehow managed to exceed them. <laughs> this is beautiful. Are you as happy as we are? I am. I and love I, how we were, out. We were looking at the. Um, look at this. Everything's just so freaking dialed in. <laughs> oh, and you know the wall was the best. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. that was a, like that worry, home run. But you scored big time. Oh, awesome. Thank you.